are the main attraction here? I know we got the game, but we got a lot of people in line to get autographs from you and, and uh, spend a little bit of time with you. So thanks for taking a little time with us. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. Now, in the announcement today, we heard uh, some words like partner, ambassador, um, the Soccer Advisory Council. What is exactly going to be your role with this group? Well, it's a little bit like a startup where everyone's wearing a lot of different hats at first to try to make this happen. I think if and when it does happen, uh, then I will be heading up the soccer side and and looking over that that piece of this whole project so that's uh i don't want to put the cart before the horse but the goal and the expectation is that we will we will get the franchise and then we go from there you've got the two sides it seems like that are going on right now the the city to get the project approved and also mls um, to get the franchise approved um, which of those do you think is the bigger hurdle for this group right now well, the city is the first hurdle, but it's probably the bigger hurdle, too. Um, I obviously have long relationships with Major League Soccer, and I think good relationships with Major League Soccer, as do our entire investment team and the group that wants to do this. The city is a little trickier because a lot of people don't know us yet, and so when something like this happens, there can be skepticism, and there's a lot of questions, which there should be. People should ask questions. Uh, but hopefully over time people understand that this is authentic and it's genuine and when you see I don't know how many hundreds six seven eight hundred people show up to an event like this uh, it starts to tell you that people want this here and and, and we need to listen to that mm -hmm. um, wh what do you feel like you bring specifically uh, to this group uh, to this effort to get MLS here well I've lived the soccer life right so when I see kids out here playing and kicking a ball around I live that life and I, and I know what that's like and I know what, what it can do for somebody. I grew up in a 900 square foot home with a mom that made $30,000 and we were struggling to eat on some nights, right? And now it's led me to a point where I can be potentially an owner and investor in an MLS team. So soccer creates opportunities that other sports don't create and it also galvanizes people. With a, within a week we put out a few Facebook posts and we've got close to a thousand people at an event here on a Friday night in traffic, right? So I know what, what this city feels about soccer. I know the passion it, it can bring to people and I know how unifying this game is. So we hope to do that for San Diego. Yeah, last quick thing for you. The voting process for the name has started. Which one have you voted for so far? I haven't voted yet. <laughs> I've been busy today, man, so I haven't had a chance to look yet. Which one did you vote for? Uh, you know, I, I think I need to maintain my objectivity as a journalist here, so I can't disclose that. But. Okay, fine. <laughs> Very political. Well done. Yeah. Uh, thank you for taking some time. Um, appreciate it. Go uh, spend some time with more fans. Thanks for coming out. All right. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Well, back to you in the studio. Thank you. I know, huh? They were, they were